Uh, exercise 7G question 5 is asking you to find the matrix that moves the point 1, negative 2 to the point negative 4, 5 and the same matrix will move the point 3, 4 to 18, 5. So first thing we need to do is just give this transformation matrix some generic terms. So A, B, C, D because I don't know what any of the four are. And then we can put in the two points that we know. So it's going to move the point 1, negative 2 to the point negative 4, 5. So that's one equation. And the other equation is the same matrix A, B, C, D is going to move the point, I'll use a different colour here, 3, 4 is going to move to 18, 5. So we need to find A, B, C and D. So there's going to be some simultaneous equation stuff coming in here. So if we multiply this left hand side first, we're going to get, oh sorry, uh, if we multiply this matrix by 1, negative 2, we'd get A times 1 is A, and then we'll get minus 2B, and then when we do the second part of it, we're going to get C minus 2D, and that is going to equal negative 4, 5. So now we have two equations. Uh, a minus 2b equals negative 4 and c minus 2d equals 5. Do the same thing to the second equation. So I'd get 3a plus 4b and the second equation I'd get 3c plus 4d. Now I'm just skipping ahead here and I know that's going to equal 18 and that one's going to equal 5. So now I have four equations and four unknowns. So I've got equations A and B. This one's got an equation of C and D, and this one's got A and B and C and D. So I can use the first two equations. So let's call them equation one, two, three, and four. I can use equations one and three to solve for A and B. So A minus two B equals negative four, and three A plus four B equals 18. So to get rid of this, um, I could multiply this whole thing by 2, which would make that 2a minus 4b minus 8. So then I'm going to add these because the b's will cancel off. So I get 5a equals 10. So a equals 2. Thank goodness it is a nice even number. So now I can sub that in to find b. So let's sub it into equation 1. I'd get 2 minus 2b equals negative 4. So it's minus the 2 over. I get minus 6 minus 2b. So b would equal 3. So there's a and b. Then we just need to repeat the same thing for c and d. So let's use equation 3 and 4. Uh, no, sorry, 2 and 4. So I'd get c minus 2d equals 5. 3c plus 4d equals 5 also. And let's, again, let's multiply this one by 2. So we can cancel off those d's. So that'll become 4, 2, and 10. So again, I'm going to add them. So I get 5c equals 15. So c equals 3. And then we're going to sub that one into either equation 2 or 4. Uh, equation 2. Let's do that. So we'd have 3 minus 2d, so therefore equals 5. Minus the 3 across, I get negative 2d equals 2, so d equals negative 1. So finally, let's just chuck that all back into my matrix. So a was, where is it, 2, b was 3, c was 3, and d was negative 1. All right, lots of work for that question to find that transformation matrix. Okay, but the first thing is to always just set up your equations at the top here, and then once you multiply them through, it's just a little bit of simultaneous equations practice.